today? Modern organizations must deliver innovative software that bonds customers to its products and services. The ability to deliver quality software to the market quickly is a business imperative. Speed and quality were historically considered trade-offs. However, today, this trade-off is no longer an option. Different roles in the organization have different perspectives about speed and quality. Yet each project team must understand the actual business risks associated with a release candidate. This means a comprehensive process for addressing both functional and non-functional requirements. Non-functional requirements describe how the overall system should behave, including application resiliency, accessibility, availability, and reliability. In a recent study exploring software quality across development methodologies, only 38% of Agile-ish and Agile teams are monitoring non-functional requirements, compared with 58% of their waterfall counterparts. The survey found that Agile's quick, iterative approach forces teams to focus on bottom-up user stories rather than overall application quality. The result? Non-functional requirements are deprioritized, which introduces greater business risks. The study also went on to find that there is actually an inverse correlation between more iterative development methodologies and the measurement of non-functional requirements, meaning agile speed leaves little time for testing non-functional requirements, while waterfall's pace actually leaves more time for system-level testing. Another survey finding revealed a disconnect among roles in the organization as it relates to the measurement of non-functional requirements. Developers and testers do not believe that non-functional requirements are being appropriately defined and measured. Managers and business analysts, on the other hand, are seven times more likely to believe that non-functional requirements are defined and measured consistently. This finding exposes a gap between business expectations and developer tester activity. This gap can expose the company to a bumpy user experience, erratic system behavior and standards, and regulatory compliance risk. To close the gap, business and dev teams must jointly define development policies at the project's onset, understand the need and purpose of non-functional requirements, establish KPIs and acceptance thresholds, and commit to real-time measurement and monitoring. Finally, it's important that teams review and continuously improve these risk mitigation strategies. All of this will help teams achieve quality at speed and rapidly assess the risk of a release candidate. For a deeper dive into why non-functional requirements are critical for continuous delivery, visit parasoft.com and download the complete report.